right, everyone, welcome back. Whoa, it sounds better for some reason. Yeah? I don't know. It sounds better than the last one. <laughs> I sound the same. Okay. Welcome back. Welcome back. Thanks, everyone, for joining us for our Philly edition. The Philly Marathon edition. The Philly-thon. The Philly-thon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for sure. Thanks, um, everyone, for joining in today. We still have a lot more coming up today. We have a very special guest this episode, so stick around. Before that, we want to talk about our sponsors. Big shout out to our sponsors. Big shout out to our sponsors. Big. <laughs> uh, Tougher Wheels. It's a T-U-F-R acronym for thank you for rolling. They're all about giving back to the community. The, the wheels are simple but sweet. They've been heavily tested, high quality wheels, and they give back a percentage of the community for uh, comps. They throw events. They take 50% of their proceeds and they put them toward like making events happen. Um, yeah, 50% is a lot too. Yeah, it's a lot. Yeah, and they also have a 15 day uh, warranty. If like there's any problems with the wheels, they, you can take them back, give you new ones, just in case there's any issues. So they stand by their quality. Yes, they do, and they're actually through us. They're having a, a contest. It's a giveaway backslide contest, and it's uh yeah, you uh, submit a backslide cl- clip on Instagram. You uh, hashtag Jump Street Podcast, and you got to follow Tougher Wheels. It's T U F R underscore Wheels, and you got to follow at Jump Street Podcast. And the winner will be picked in two weeks on April 20. Well, no, we have two weeks to do it. Yeah, two weeks, two weekends, kind of. Yeah, two weekends. Give it that way. So mm-hmm. April 29th. April 29th. Get your backslides in before then to win yourself a set of tougher wheels, definitely high quality wheels. Yeah. Good shit coming out of the guys in uh, Florida and ATL. So thank you so much for your support. Tougher wheels. We also have big shout out to our other sponsor, Turtle Pillow. If anyone here is traveling, since we're all skaters, we're always traveling all over the place. Turtle Pillows. It's an like innovative UK brand for neck pillows and travel accessories. They also support other skaters in the industry as well. So other Turtle ambassadors include CJ Wellsmore, Mary Muno, uh, Danny Aldridge. If you follow any of those people, you'll see them you know, represent Turtle as well. It's a fully adjustable neck pillow, fully for your height. It's lightweight, it's breathable. For like taller people, shorter people, it works well on everybody. As athletes, you know, we need to be well rested when we get to where we're going. So seriously, man, and I always get like a bad neck when I'm on these like trips. It's the worst. I like I seriously got neck problems. So this thing looks like the best thing ever. For I know. Me. And also, we're doing a giveaway with Turtle as well. Stick around for our um, Instagram. This week, we'll post uh, a Turtle giveaway post, and we'll have all the details and how to win yourself a Turtle Pillow Classic, Turtle Pillow Plus, and a set of compression socks. So stay tuned. Keep an eye out for that. Big shout out, Turtle Pillow. Check them out. Uh, should we? Oh, we got one more thing. Yep, we have a WTF of the week. WTF of the week yeah. is brought to you by Lit. Oh, it's what? another one. I'm gonna butcher. Lydia Sobsack. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Go for that one right there. So shout out Lydia <laughs> with double top side stall thingy. That's two broken ankles for me. It's two broken ankles, two broken kneecaps, but. I definitely can't do that. And she just laced the shit out of it. So big shout out to Lydia. Just we're going to leave it at Lydia. We're just going to leave it at Lydia. We're just going to leave it at Lydia for yeah, now. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> Not good. We don't historically have a good uh, track record with the last names. No, so like if you're ever going to be featured on Jump Street for any reason, just prepare to be have your name butchered. Yep. <laughs> it's part of it. Because that's definitely what's going to happen. It's all part and parcel. Of course, of course. So as mentioned before, we have a very special guest this yes, week. Yes, we do. Our special guest is... None other than Philly legend, blader, art aficionado, Jeff Frederick. I haven't seen you in a minute. Yeah. I don't know how many years it's been. I'd say at least six, seven, eight, something like that. It's been a while. We talked a few times. Yeah, we talked a few times on the phone and things like that gotta make it a point to stay in touch nowadays yeah you call you called me after the rob thing just recently i was just about to say something happened that we we talked a little bit yeah, yeah. Rob G got into that crazy shit yeah and he's doing well now right yeah it's unbelievable he's like, yeah he's like recovery. skating and shit now yeah it's good that was nuts man but rob he's a blessed guy i mean he really is he, it's all that positive energy he gives off yeah. yeah he's a special dude he is rob was always a good dude yeah i'm sure he's a firm believer in that too like the positive positive energy you give towards the world you get back and i think that's exactly what happened because like who would have thought that like a recovery oh, from yeah. that would be so successful yeah. did anybody ever like find out exactly what happened like why did this dude just shoot him in the face or whatever <laughs> like i i don't want to butcher it 
but I think generally um, the guy might have been under the influence of yeah. something, yeah. and he he shot at Rob and I think what ended up going in his head was the shra- shrapnel or the and uh, so yeah and then he was the mission was to get him out of the jungle because he wasn't near any good hospital yeah, I remember. he was like in the middle of nowhere but that was the tough part about it I guess yeah right? that was the one of the you know obviously it's gnarly on its own but then yeah, it had yeah. in the hole in the challenge in the way yeah. So, but yeah he's like recovering yeah I'm glad it all worked out I, yeah. I donated like a little bit to the Sick. To, to that when that was all going on I never talked to him though strangely enough yeah I never had any communication with him <laughs> really oh uh, shit but it was it was good like that you know hearing from you that day you like calling and reaching out and stuff like that because it's good to like touch base it's, it's been such a long time it was a shame it was on those circumstances yeah yes. of course mm-hmm. yeah glad that we're here now and it's a more positive note yeah yeah Just definitely catching up so not only have I not seen you in a while, I bet like do you, do you see any bladers like on a like there are, are there any bladers <laughs> that you used to skate with or Philly guys like that you like keep in touch with or not real? I mean I probably see these guys you know yeah. Sean and uh, and Colin more than anybody. Um, you know I keep in touch with like Lux and Jimmy and i i don't even really see them that much i mean jimmy lives yeah. like 10 minutes away from me and i still but you know he's oh, doing family yeah, he's, he's busy he's got full-time life, yeah he's full-time job two totally. kids so he's got that mini ramp now you gotta hit him that mini yeah ramp. i wouldn't be caught dead on that <laughs> mini ramp lux sent me some videos he was there a couple of weeks ago and he did a he he was like he like tried to drop in on a skateboard or something got wrecked what? i was like i was like what are you doing but does, lux doesn't skateboard though does he I mean, That's where everybody did like a long, a little long bit. time ago, yeah. you know, before before we ever started skating. But so speaking of started skating, like because you went, you're like from like one of the first generation eras of like Philly skaters uh, that I at least I saw. Like I remember seeing you in like VG six and these like you know old videos and like um, what year did you get into skating and what like what was the catalyst? I said I got a bad memory, so you got to bear with me here <laughs> as I put the the dates and everything together. I mean, I was in, I think, seventh or eighth grade, I guess eighth grade, and it was like right as like Airborne, I guess, was coming out like just recently. And I guess I was like ninety two, yeah, ninety three, so, yeah, like mm-hmm. yeah, somewhere around there, like ninety one, ninety two, and I was at like a middle school dance. It's like a funny story, like a middle <laughs> school dance, and you know. Fucking, you're talking like House of Pain, fucking jump around. Yeah. <laughs> That's fucking know. sick. And there was like this little courtyard outside. The dancers were in like the cafeteria, and there was this little courtyard outside. And all of a sudden, like 20 dudes were all up on skates. And I'd had rollerblades previous. Like my parents had like got me a pair for Christmas or something. Remember the the first? Remember like the bright blue uh, rollerblades with the white frames? Yeah, yeah. And I think they had like even red had wheels like, or something. Or on I it? think they even had like neon yellow wheels. Yeah, or something. yeah, yeah. The Sean most, has them. They were the They're ugliest here. looking, <laughs> ridiculous skates yeah. ever. But they got me a pair. And like I said, I had skateboarded for you know years and years. I used to play sports and shit too. But then uh, I seen these guys roll up, and this one there were like these tabletops, these sort of low benches, and this one dude who was in like my computer class, this kid Frank Buck. He went up and he did like a 180 and fucking went fakie on the tabletop, did a 360 off. And I was like, what the <laughs> fuck? I said, mm. I'd never seen anything like that yeah. in my life. I was like, that was fucking crazy. Yeah. And, I, and I started talking to him. I said, yo, buddy, you're in my computer class, you know? And I was like, uh, can I come out skating with you guys? He's like, sure. And the next day I went out skating with them. It was him and this kid, Mike Duthart. And it was the first time I'd ever seen anybody like do a grind or anything mm-hmm. but this was before none of us even knew how to soul grind or anything like that mm-hmm. i was actually the first one so from that like day on so no one was grinding uh, like front sides but the saddest front side you've ever <laughs> seen like just super jumping, step like, on yeah, it just like stepping up and just nicking a rail yeah you know? and uh literally from that day on it was just like every day we used to skate and then it was like uh, i finally learned how to soul grind out of I seen like B. Harden do an alley oop sole in like a box magazine on like a little grind rail, and I turned it into a, a forward sole grind. You know, I studied that and did them. Um, first, we were doing the step up soles too. We weren't yeah. jumping with yeah, two yeah, yeah. feet. And uh, I remember when I did that sole grind, and then we used to have this spot. Um, it was called like it was like an old circus town or something which i don't even know if you know what that is Mm-mm. it's like a kid's kind of place where they have uh whatever 
like you know you, you jump in the ball pit it's like a Chuck E. Cheese yeah. kind yeah, of place like a Chuck E. Cheese kind yeah. of place whatever and it was it was out of business and we used to have this whole parking lot we'd set stuff up there were all these like wooden ledges and we'd all kind of like congregate there and the one day I came up that I busted this step up soul grind and everyone was like, <laughs> you know we just I skated with those dudes for years just every every day me Duthard Frank this kid DJ McCorkle guys you probably never even heard of but these were all the guys that I really started skating with and then it wasn't until years later when like VG3 came or what what was the, excuse me not VG3 uh hoax 2 when they came to Philly they skated Penn. Yeah, yeah. Which really, we yeah. had never known. We didn't know what Penn was. We were still skating out in like Delaware County. We had yeah. never ventured into the city yet. Mm -hmm. And uh, we went down there and found that spot. And that's when we started meeting all these other people. And that's when we met Jimmy. That's like around, I guess, like VG3 time. We met Jimmy, Lux, all the guys that you do know. Yeah. But that's the That was the first time I actually met with other skaters that just like you and the kids you went to school with? Uh, like I was saying, the dudes that you guys would know. Oh, okay. So just all the guys before that yeah. were dudes like from my neighborhood. Mm -hmm. that there was probably about a half a dozen dudes that I would. Skate they all with. like fell off afterwards, or nah? They they kept skating for a long time, but they just never. Uh, well, Frank stopped probably the earliest. Mike Duthart, those dudes who I used to skate with every single day when I first started skating, they stopped kind of earlier on. I don't know if you remember a kid named John Rowan. He was uh, mm -hmm. he was really good. Uh, <laughs> Colin shaking his head back there. <laughs> yeah, well, these guys, yeah, they would, they would know a couple of these guys. Mm -hmm. But, I mean, dudes that were, you know, not even to sound corny, but I wouldn't have made it where I made it without those guys because those guys were the ones who were originally pushing. We were all pushing each other every single day to the constant. Like, look, we were inventing the sport, really. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, from the little bit of stuff we'd see in videos and everything, I mean, rollerblading was... It wasn't like uh, we were in tune with what was going on in Venice Beach at yeah, the time, yeah. mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. So, 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 like, how do you go from like, how do you go from there to like getting like your first sponsors and things like that, like that, like next step? I guess, yeah. Again, trying to think about the dates. right. <laughs> I, I apologize about the yeah. dates, but I was in, I was in high school, and I remember. I remember it just got to a point where I forget, you know, we saw a video or something and we just sort of realized like, fuck dude, we're, we're just as good as any of these guys. Like the de the best dudes out there doing it. Like we're, we're doing the same shit. Yeah. So I guess I was never one to kind of go small. So <laughs> I put a sponsor me video together and this is when we were skating. Like, see, it's funny because you guys still do this stuff to this day, which I can't even imagine. But this is when we used to skate religiously, like, all day oh, every yeah. day yeah, you yeah. remember those days yeah. oh, yeah. wake up yeah. skate there skate Life. like 30 blocks yeah. Yeah. hit oh, every like 14, spot on the way yeah. go back and then go home and <laughs> yeah. skate more or whatever and leave home just, with the skates on not yeah. even take the sneakers so, yeah yeah right. i remember we were there was a competition up in um fuck i don't even remember the place but like a the senate tour or something was going on there and they had like one of the Winnebago's and I think like John Ortiz and another dude were there. And I was like, yo guys, here's my video. I'm hmm. gonna give this to, to set. Like I wanna ride for set. So I just was like, fuck it. I'm just gonna go straight for set at the biggest company in the industry. <laughs> and somehow, and, and they watched it and listen bro, I was doing some fucking hot shit. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's old, but yeah. I, was, I was hitting some shit. And, that's crazy you handed in a physical, like a VHS oh, I, I, tape. It was a VHS tape. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no, we crazy. watched it on the Winnebago. Not even like send it in the mail. You straight up just handed a if physical I handed VHS tape. it to John tape. Ortiz in the, in, the, in the Winnebago. I was like, we watched it, and they were like, this is pretty good. Yeah, this is all right. <laughs> That's your homie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And, uh, dude, like, I don't know how much longer it was, but I was like 16. So, I mean, it was, it was within a few months or something. It made it back to Senate, and I got a call from Brooke Howard Smith. And, you know, I'm like fucking jumping yeah, up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Me and my yeah. boy, another dude you wouldn't know, DJ Whalen, who these guys know, like another dude I just skated with all the time when we were younger. And, I'm, and he's like, yeah, this is Brooke Howard Smith. And I'm like, what the fuck? He's like, we want you to ride flow for the team. And we're like, yeah. <laughs> jumping up and down, like hugging each other yeah. and shit. Make, That's a pretty gnarly for a sponsor, Senate. Yeah. Not like a local Especially skate shop. Time. Yeah, not a local skate shop. Not like, yeah, like Senate's like the biggest company. Well, I mean, don't get me wrong. I did skate for little local skate shops and shit. 
first. Oh, okay. I had cheap little, skates or? No, nah, never cheap skates. There was this place called Skater's Edge that was in the city. Um, I've heard of that before. So now you're talking about, I was like, you know, 13, 14 years old. I guess when I got sponsored by Senate, I was 15. Um, and then it was like, started flying out to Cali. And then I guess after maybe like the first time I went out to Cali, the USD wasn't too far after that. Then I guess I went amateur for Senate. I don't remember. You mm-hmm. know? But in hindsight, it, it was it was cool that I was able to do that, but I never turned it into what I guess I guess I wish I would have hoped it could have been. Yeah, I get that. Um, I think life in got general at that early time. Uh, I mean, look. In hindsight, I would have loved to have made more of a physical career out mm-hmm. of skating. When you see what some of these other dudes were doing, like yeah, don't get yeah. me wrong, I was fortunate. I traveled a lot, mm-hmm. but like you looked at it, like a dude like Aaron at the time, I right. guess, oh, like yeah, yeah. dudes like traveling the whole entire world. Mm-hmm. But then again, I wasn't part of any of that competition circuit, mm-hmm. which was kind of why were you not part of that? Well, was at, that a choice? at the time, it was a bit like there was a bit separation from street skaters and like yeah. people who skated X Games and these contests, right? ASA. Y- yeah, there definitely was. I was. Actually Actually, if I'm correct, I was the first person to ever go pro, uh, I guess, I don't know, for a skate sponsorship or maybe for Senate that was like not ASA pro because that oh, was yeah. like the staple yeah, at the that time. was like the standard. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. You couldn't become pro if you weren't yep. ASA yeah, pro. That's true, yeah. Um, I could be wrong about that. No, I don't that, know. Was, you ever that, ASA that was pro? the understanding at least. Never. No, I don't even think I ever competed in an ASA. <laughs> oh, shit. If I did... It was like when I was like 13, 14 years old. I think I competed in a NIS in New York. I don't even know if you were around back then. This what's is your, like, what like which, the, the one with the black ramps and like Petty was there too? No, no, no. This is back over at the, um, where did they do the World Seaport. Fair? Oh, it was in Queens, that one. Flushing, yeah, oh, yeah, Flushing, the Flushing globe. with the blue, you know, uh, wasn't the blue pit, like mm-hmm. fountains. Yeah. And they set up the whole NIS inside. I don't remember that ever being a NIS there. That's crazy. No, there was. It's old. Yeah, no, this like ninety six, ninety seven. Yeah, Yeah. like like maybe ninety five. Dedentro was like telling me about this. Like Mm. Joe was there, you know. And I remember I met Arlo, and that was like the biggest (laughs) back then. You know, I was like up on top of a quarter pipe with him, and I think I was like, "Yo, what's up, dude?" He's like, "Oh, what's up?" Hey, Arlo. Then I think I like. Then I think I like nutted myself. (laughs) Like I was like, "I'm gonna go hit this rail." Fucking totally got wrecked, and I was like, "Okay, that was awesome." (laughs) Nice meeting you, Arlo. I never realized that that was never your thing, like the whole competition aspect of it. Nah, man, we just we skated street, man. We really did. We just we were street skaters. We would go to. Lux was like a park skater to originally because he used to always skate at cheapskates because mm-hmm. he lived up near there. You know, we would, we would like, I, I couldn't even drop in on a vert ramp. I think I might have dropped in a vert ramp like once in my whole life. <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah, I, I cannot fucking skate vert. Dude, I was totally like one of those skaters too. Like I was at a point where I was doing like rails and like Ollie porn stars and rails and things like that. And then I went to skate my first mini ramp and I tried to drop in a, on a six foot. I fell flat on my oh, face. Oh, right? shit. I was already, <laughs> I was already at this level on street, you know, but oh. I couldn't skate tranny. Damn. Oh. I remembered at one time we used to, you know, how you sit down and you drop in. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I remember at cheap skates one time. And now this is again, this is when I was like young and I literally fucking, I was like, well, they're like, just push off. And I literally just fucking went <laughs> and just dropped like 12 feet right yeah. onto my shoulder. Fucking got out my helmet. Was like, oh, you know. Yeah. yeah. Dropping and sitting down is harder than standing up. I think now, like, knowing how to do both, like, good. Like, people t- used to tell you to learn sitting down, but there's more to sitting down than just dropping in normally. I don't yeah. know. I think that if you could drop and sitting down, well, whether up I easy. dropped in sitting down or standing <laughs> up, was still not was when I got way. to the other side where work. I ran into the real oh, problem. Shit, yeah. As soon as I fucking went up, I'm like, oh, <laughs> I'm fucking flailing my arms and everything. That's no, it's just was, a wall when you get to that point. I mean, listen, maybe at like uh, my absolute peak of of when I was skating like that, was I able to maybe do like a top sole or something yeah, yeah. on the vert ramp? Yeah, vert's and, a whole nother world. Yeah, it just was something that never really appealed to to me. Um, the dudes that I would skate with, like you know, like again, man, not even to say we were just we were just hardcore street skaters. It was just like this type of stuff we're talking about. We'd go skate the city, skate like you know, I mean. Where are you from originally again? You're from Cali? New no, New York. Oh, you're from yeah, New York originally? Yeah. I apologize. I apologize. <laughs> no, but, you know, New York you New York guys can relate to it because, and I know you guys have been out to Cali, mm-hmm. certain areas of Cali. Obviously, like when we were going out to SoCal, 
such a different experience. Yeah. Because they'd all be like, well, let's hop in the car and we'll drive over yeah, to this yeah. spot. Yeah, it's not skating like, around yeah. the city. Yeah, and we're like, what the fuck? It's a completely <laughs> different vibe. Yeah. Like, we'll go film here. Like, mm-hmm. Colin was just asking me about, like, filming for a section. I was like, dude, I used to fucking hate filming for yeah, a just session. Yeah, just session. Yeah, yeah, we used to just go out, skate, hit spots, and... You know, when we'd go out to Cali, they'd be like, all right, like, let's go film over. Like, we'll go shoot here. <laughs> yeah. And you're like, what the fuck, dude? They're breaking out the camera. You're like, yeah. I don't even hit a soul grind yet. Like, yeah. Calm down. No, it, it took, t- it was totally like a different vibe getting used to that, like with the professional bit in Cali. Cause like you said, like, we would just go out there in session and just rip and everyone just pumping each other up and like someone had the camera. Like, you yeah. were, exactly. And, and that yeah. was it. You just yeah, had yeah. it and you dudes didn't even say, skating, hey, film this. Yeah. You were just yeah. doing yeah, it. Dudes and that were was just it. skating yeah. and there was that dude who, you know, and, Look, Majet, I mean, uh, Chris Majet, who anybody listening, you know, if they don't know who Chris Majet was, Chris, you know, documented through that whole period, uh, you know, obviously all these younger guys um, and all the sections that he did to sort of keep us in the loop, I guess, of, of what was going on as far as videos mm-hmm. and everything and putting us out there. Um, Colin was just asking me about the section in whatever video that was where I didn't have like enough footage so I just said to Majet I'm like let's just make an edit of everybody I was supposed to send it to Joe <laughs> I was supposed to send it to Joe yeah. and he's like dude where's your section and I was like well, I made like a little something different dude and I sent it out to him and he was like I can't use this he's like I needed a section of just was that what he's we talking were going to ask you about that yeah, actually yeah, yeah. Is that what he's talking about for amateur or something yeah, like that whatever that was yeah I guess it was amateur so what happened you, you, he wanted a, Joe Navron wanted a section of you yeah I think I was supposed <laughs> to have like my own section and I just I don't know what happened I didn't have enough footage something and we just made this whole uh, you know group section it was actually very good we thought it was great. Man. Yeah, I bet. <laughs> I bet it was good, man. I said the car. You can watch it online. It's that. Little, oh, it's up now. Yeah, that, that's been up for years. Yeah. It's like this little uh, onyx section. We uh, it had some roots and onyx on it. It was a great section, but Joe axed it. He wasn't having it. <laughs> that sucks. No, he wasn't having it. That sucks. Yeah, you were like one of like the few East Coast guys down with like the FP guys. Yeah, I mean, when I went out to Cali, like I was saying, I guess I first went out to Cali. I was like 15 years old. Am I good here? Yeah, yeah. Okay. I, I bumped the volume. It's good. Okay. Um, yeah, and I, I was fortunate to, again, man, you talk about getting just thrown right into, you know, guys, like I was saying, meeting Arlo at the NIST when I was 13, mm-hmm. and then it's like a couple years later, I mean, I'm hanging with all these guys. Yeah. And all of a sudden, I'm at Senate. I'm like mm-hmm. with everybody. Mm-hmm. And... Joe was just coming up to, I guess, right around that time. He was starting to get into the industry, making the videos and everything. And, you know, obviously his whole circle, the, all the FP guys just became cool with all of them. Yeah. And every time I would go out there, I would I would most of the time be staying with them. Um, it all happened super fast over those couple years. I mean, I guess it was really hardcore for like, I guess, what, like four or five years. Yeah where I was out in Cali and I was traveling and then I would tour with a couple, I did a couple tours with those guys and obviously once I was on Senate and USD, mm-hmm. I was hanging out with- That's everything right yeah, there. Yeah, I mean, those mm-hmm. are the two biggest companies in the yeah. industry, mm-hmm. so, you know, and then I was on the tour, we did the USD tour, I guess I was 20. I was living in Italy at the time and I actually flew back to do the USD tour. It started in Florida. Oh, yeah, yeah. Living in Italy, yeah. yeah. And I could only go up to, it was the one where fucking Navron threw, or somebody threw the firecrackers on me and I threw them behind <laughs> yeah, Joe's yeah, head. Yeah, McKinney, was it? Kinney? Or uh, Michael Keeney? Yeah, yeah. Well, he didn't do it. No, I no. think I think Aaron Feinberger, Joe, I was sleeping and they put like, I just fire watched this video too, to like head. last week. I don't remember who it was. Who like, was. Dude, like, I don't know how you guys are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, fuck, fuck that, that man. Fuck you that. Sleep, yeah, you know, yeah, like, yeah. You know, you can do whatever you want yeah. when we're fucking yeah. awake, but if I'm sleeping, don't fucking set a yeah. firecracker off next to my head. So, yeah. I mean, don't get me wrong, it was dumb shit, but you know, I like fucking threw a bunch of firecrackers behind Joe's head. Nobody, nobody got hurt. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, I remember that. That tour yeah, was yeah. a lot of bullshit like that, though, wasn't it? There was. Well, I only went to like from Florida to Atlanta. I think because okay, I had to fly quick. back to Italy for school at the time. Oh, that's what you were doing in Italy. Yeah, I was out there for school for like a year. Mm. But yeah, I mean, I don't know. We got a little sidetracked there, but I mean, I was no, but, uh, in the midst you, of all those guys. So you were only on the tour for a sh- for a short bit. Do you have any random cool stories that no one knows that would like to know? 
You guys are really testing my memory. <laughs> Taking some vitamins. Remember some years, years, man. Uh, what do you eat? Hopefully, maybe eat we can get a kind of root. Can we get a freshener of Jeff's drink? Is that possible? <laughs> wow! Look at this service. <laughs> service here, bottle service. Pod- <laughs> start doing podcasts every week. Hey, man, we'll have you Legit on next bottle time. service. A cool story down there. I mean. Well, I, I tell you, you're putting me on the spot there. I'd have to think. All uh, right, yeah. We can... So many. Well, I will actually tell you a funny story. What was it? Kevin Dowling? Yeah. Remember yes. Kevin Dowling? Yeah. Shout out Kevin Dowling. Somehow, yeah, I haven't seen this dude in God knows how long. And he'll remember this story because he's probably still like, my fucking crazy fuck. <laughs> <laughs> he like let me borrow his car in Atlanta. This was the last leg of the tour that I was on, whatever. Mm-hmm. And. I don't know, dude. We were out partying, whatever, and he like let me. But somehow, I'm randomly just off on my own, driving around fucking Atlanta in Kevin Dowling's car, and he's like, "Where the fuck are you, dude?" I'm like, "Dude, I don't even know where I am." Like, <laughs> and uh, I guess it's not as funny uh, me telling it. <laughs> sure, damn but, funny but, but, at the time. Yeah, but he, he, like, he, he didn't even know car. me, bro. He's like, "Where the hell is my car?" Yeah, he didn't he even know who car. I was, other yeah. than you know, maybe Through the videos. We, yeah, yeah. Or maybe we had met once or twice, whatever. Yeah. But you know, he was a good dude. And, you know, we got to know. That he was like, "Yeah, borrow my car," and then <laughs> I just you, like, Sean. "Thank you, thank you, I appreciate it." <laughs> Sean made a random appearance, <laughs> so. That was one kind of just yeah, funny, funny little story when I think about, but and I, also, also speaking of tours, you went out to you were at the one of the first time YTAs in Paris, the Bercy one, yes, and so. you fived over that wall, which was obviously like insane. But what, what was that all about? What was that the energy and experience like? I was gonna ask, was that when you were living in Italy or no? No, that was actually was the that? year before I was living in Italy, and you know, thinking back, if I ever think back, sort of about my skating career. That was my absolute peak. That's when I was at my best. That's when I was skating the best, mm. just fucking in the zone. Just in, it's on it. Yeah. yeah, like just lace and everything. Had all the tricks. Mm-hmm. Like I was just hitting it all. Mm-hmm. But that morning on one of those little stupid warm up ledges, I tried to do like a true porn star. So I think I was trying to show off to like Julio. You know, I'm like, Yo, John, <laughs> fucking check this out. And I went for a true and just totally like i would never miss this trick like yeah. this ever but i was just like whoa totally missed my feet and ripped a hole in my shin Ugh. so that whole competition and then you jumped the gap like that that whole competition chin? i skated with literally like a what hole like that fuck? big in my shin to do a gap a like that with probably don't know that one wow. <laughs> to do a gap like that with the busted shin like even sometimes jumping off a curb when you have a busted shin like hurts but dude the like you said dude the, the energy yeah the fucking energy in that competition yeah that was the craziest uh it was just it was just a crazy day and it seemed like know, one of the craziest ones yeah from IYTA like video stands just, now that's when shima was at his height too yeah yeah you for know sure. and you know me and brian obviously battled there and you know it was questionable <laughs> <laughs> you know, some people might have favored yeah, my yeah, forty totally. over the wall over to his angle T- five forty. Totally. <laughs> no but he he was but that's sick because not many people could say you know they had a battle yeah, with Shima in the competitions because he was yeah. pretty. Uh, I'll tell you, go back and serious watch that thing, bro. Yeah. We were, I hit the I hit the over the wall back royale. Yeah, and I was skating flat rocker on those ledges too. And like you said, like those you, are those big you, ass yeah, you were skating ledges. flat. I had flat. Well, that's a Philly rule. I was pimping it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, but dude, like, uh, should we talk about that? that you're, you're, not, you're not even a contention like uh, competition guy, really. Like you, like you said, your street, so. Yeah, I don't know where that sort of came from. Yeah, where were you then? No, Same thing at the like, IMIT, I mean, not the IMIT, ECTSC. What is the, that? The first one at Fl- oh, M. John Bound? Skating Tru- Tru- Cup. Tru- Tru- yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. The one that Colin won. I'm not up on my uh, current events or even, I don't know when that was. Current was events. That was, that was like 2000, 2001 or something like that. All right, well, I was already <laughs> sort of falling out of the loop there. So that falls. Oh, I'm going to knock everything over here. Uh, but you, you, like, so you were skating flat at the, the Bercy thing, but. Everyone always meant like at least Sean and Colin always mentioned like the Philly rule when you started like skating was like what you and Shooter would do like you have to like grab your tricks you have to land fakey and roll fakey you like ride flat like all this all these things what got you guys started with all that stuff yeah who made the rules it's yeah who good, set these it's rules a good question man we uh, I guess we just became very um, particular about I guess certain aspects of skating you know. Like yeah, like hold, like grabbing your tricks. That was a big thing because I guess that had, it was had that element of like control. It was cleaner. It wasn't so much, I guess, uh, 
of like a freestyle kind of thing just like uh, mm -hmm. i guess you know and i'm doing hand signals here and obviously nobody can see them <laughs> no, they no, can. I can't. some uh, people can yeah, yeah. this camera's here. um going back to the flat rocker thing i don't even know where i for me i think it became an element of control being able like as far as the maneuvering because mm -hmm. i think when i I skated, you know, Annie Rocker for a long time. When, when it first came out, it was like the coolest thing ever because, you know, you had you could you could hit ledges easier. Everything just was mm -hmm. smoother and easier in that sense. Yeah. And but then I think I went back to flat rocker, and you can feel the difference, obviously. Yeah. yeah. When you're making quick turns or whatever, mm -hmm. and I don't know. I guess it just. I guess it almost became that thing, and I guess this lends itself to the other stuff we're talking about it was all about making it i guess harder not easier mm -hmm. you know was it was about like sure it's easier if i don't grab my trick because i'm just kind of hucking it now maybe some people can do it now with a lot more of that controlled element yeah. to mm -hmm. it but to us i think it was about that type of stuff like making it harder not easier totally it sets you at another level mm -hmm. kind of setting a standard i guess yeah for ourselves or like if i'm going to hit a ledge you know, I have to have my feet positioned perfectly or my wheel's going to catch. Yeah. I can't just kind of just hit whatever. Like, we used to be yeah. nuts about, like, buckling the skates to, like, anybody that had, like, really loose, loose skates. Yeah. 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 I, ah, I still do that. Like, you can't even do it in a real time. I, yeah, yeah, I still yeah. do that to people, too, when they have, like, super loose skates. Like, what are you doing? Yeah, it's too Tying loose. First off, I never understood how anybody could do it and not break, break your, your ankle. fucking ankle. Yeah. Oh, my God. Fucking, yeah. That's just crazy on its own. So, yeah, I guess that was... Well, you, you also mentioned uh, I never even thought about this like when I, Anti Rocker first came out because like I started skating in like 96 so it was, Anti Rocker was out already but like to be there when like oh shit they're these small hard wheels now yeah, like well, it's I like the revolutionary I got, I got these Kryptonics well it was funny when the smaller wheels first came out I don't remember which Kryptonics they were but they were like 50s or something and I tried to ride them flat but <laughs> they were so hard you're literally like slipping all yeah. over the place and then obviously we switched up we used to ride like you probably remember fat boys yeah oh yeah yeah fat yeah. boys yes i mean you know trs with fat boys mm -hmm. with whatever the little wheels were too hyper had the little the wheels. midgets yeah the midgets yeah that, dang that's pretty bad midgets were they were soft though mm -hmm. there was a heart there was like a harder one you know what i'm talking Is about anyway back there no one no dwarfs yeah but, well they were bigger though weren't they they were 54 the midgets were 50. geez you guys know the millimeters damn, of yeah. <laughs> these guys we yeah, yeah. damn we can't no that's the 54 not the 55. this is a pro yeah, house yeah. 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 Pro, they, they, they making us look bad there's a lot of knowledge in this basement <laughs> right now <laughs> but midgets were too soft the urethane was too soft that you you know i never used those as like i think whatever the kryptonics are they were they were really yeah like a dense hard urethane mm -hmm. it's like pristine white yeah, the fat boys are soft as all hell. Yeah, I, yeah super bouncy. Like, like yeah. there's still a, a few flowing around nowadays. I don't know how that happened, but fat boys made their way on eBay or something like that, and people are having them nowadays. Look, man, and it's so funny. I I remember back to, and I'm sure you guys all, everybody has their experience of like, when we were younger, man, you used to get those the new wheel or whatever it is and we'd have our little bag of skate parts and yeah. we'd always be like fixing our skates mm -hmm. and. It's Did you funny. ever used to see like which one of your friend's wheels spin the longest? I remember doing that with like Baron's like, Psh, and we're like, I should still go. Wait, well, well, yeah, when you be like, dude, I got a back five. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 When a back five started getting popular, and all that stuff. Yeah. Yeah. you're like, I don't got the brass spacers anymore. These are aluminum. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, all yeah. that, all that goofy that shit. Could, yeah, <laughs> yeah you, you, know, you, you know what I was about this? Um, because back in the day, like there was like a lot of, I wouldn't say it was contentious, but like around the time when there was like the. Biggie and Tupac beef like there was like some not rivalry but some I think some healthy competition between like East Coast and West Coast kind of skaters but um I remember you getting the the first being the, the first guy on the East Coast to get a pro skate and everything like that and you being a street skater on top of that was like what was that finding out getting your first skate because I don't know that that mattered that being from the East Coast and getting a pro skate being the first one like yeah I mean look going back to like I was saying it if I could have done it again, like there were things that didn't pan out the way I would have hoped they would have. Like obviously that was exciting to do that, but then I had my issues with USD. The skate never really came out the way I wanted it to come out. I was mm -hmm. sort of. How did you want it? 
Well, they could. The Pantone color didn't work as far as like the color of the skate that I wanted, and hmm. I actually wanted the original boot that had the sort of the thinner liner. But okay. at the time, they were doing the bigger ones with yeah, the yeah. puffy tongues. Yeah, and, like yeah. I didn't want all that shit. Mm-hmm. And <laughs> then, like, I guess this is sort of the part where business the business end of things sort of started to interfere with like if you want to talk about like my artistic integrity of of like you know i think i i sort of used i used senate frames which i've never fucking used the senate frame in my life (laughs) you know i thought they were terrible yeah but it made sense from a business standpoint you know Mm. it was pro rider for these companies mm-hmm. to combine the yeah. two things in the skate and, and this is like pre-ufs too so it was like really hard to put those frames on i don't like i said bro I, I never even i had never yeah. put a, a pair of those oh, frames on my skates oh, no, no, no. so we used to ride 50 50 yeah yeah, that yeah was 50, the big yeah. thing you know and you know i i i was more true to that original throne with the thinner eyelet mm-hmm. um you know, without all that puffy tongue shit, whatever mm-hmm. that was, mm-hmm. which was a whole weird. What about the tumor? The tumor was the same. That was the tumor, the tumor changed in that era also. Yeah, and that was the, the big tumor. fat chunky. Yeah, the tumor. Yeah, yeah, the big, <laughs> yeah they, they put the big one. puffy one. Yeah, the big chunky ones out. And I didn't like that either. I think at the time, you know, I was skating. So if you look at the skates that I was riding in that Paris competition, they were the original white Arlo Thrones. And I had the white 50-50 juice system on there, which was the best. That mm-hmm. used to be the best back in the day. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It just slid perfect on everything. Yeah. And, you know, 50-50 frames. They're so good back in the day, yeah. For some reason, though, 50-50 just, just never gave me any love. No? <laughs> I don't know. Were you on 50-50? No. Nah, that's what oh, I'm saying. Sure. I never, but you rode yeah. the frames anyway. Yeah, I used to ride them all the time. And I'll tell you a funny one. When I was, I stayed at John Julio's house. We were all, we drove up from... SoCal and like Petty's truck, a bunch of us. It was for that one hoax. What hoax was that? Five, maybe hoax. Like five. There was a Philly eight, section eight, in. Hoax no, five. no, no. no. I, we're skating in Northern California. Oh, okay. So I don't remember maybe which it was one. Seven, I nine, or six, something like that. I lost track after five. Yes, yeah, so, I mean, <laughs> but, but you were in five. Yeah, five had an actual Philly section. Yeah, five. You was, were in it. Shooter was in it. Lux yeah, was in yeah, it. Yeah. So maybe it was like r- one after that or something. I think it was a VG. Was it a VG? Yeah, you're right. VG10? You're right. It was VG10. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Yeah, you did have NorCal Because Dave was there. Actually, yeah, you did have NorCal Dave was there trick. filming it. Yeah. Uh, or Dave was up there with us, I think. Uh, but the funny part is, is, I had a pair of navy blue Majestics. This is when nobody was skating Majestics anymore. Yeah. And I, I said, and who was like, dude, what are you doing with Majestics? Like, I think he was skating like Cyrus's or something yeah. at the time. And I could, I would never, I don't think I've ever skated a pair of Cyrus. I never liked those big bulky yeah. skates. I could just never skate them. But it's too funny because, uh, you know, and these guys will all laugh about it now because now they all skate Majestics. And that's the whole thing because <laughs> yeah. John was like, what are you doing skate Majestics? I'm like, dude, these are the best skates ever. Uh-huh. And he was like, no way, dude, they're terrible. And then I guess what, how many years later they just took Came that back. same mold yeah. and john too out of all people yeah. Is the one like, yeah i think i break his balls about that once in a while. <laughs> i'm like yeah i deserve some credit but you were on usc and just decided to ride the majestics i think i had like a like a side pair that i put together or something that's so random too because that was such a at that time also majestics were such like a old school uh, they like, were like it was yeah it was like yeah. dinosaur back then yeah absolutely and that was the funny part yeah <laughs> john was like what the fuck are you doing with those but I, I it was like the ideal setup for me it was the navy blue majestic with the white 50 50 bl- uh, plates Damn, that's sick navy blue I think, I think i had like tan frames on them too dang tan frames the, the navy Jeez. blue though is wait so you're riding those in vg10 in the video no i uh, think I'll, i have gotta, usds gotta look on. back at that i think see, i have like, usds on in the video or I, I don't know. Maybe I even have. Uh, I don't even know if I was on USD yet. I don't know. Oh, that was before that. I feel like I might have had um, Fifth Elements on. Oh, maybe. I don't know. Like I said, I can't. <laughs> it's a blur when you get down to that stuff. Yeah. Well, well there's something. Kind of, pull up the video. Yeah, like, Colin, Colin, Colin would quick. know. Is the encyclopedia Colin's probably back there? Doing, yeah, Colin's <laughs> probably pulling up the video right now. <laughs> but um, hey, I got a I got a personal uh, interest question. There's an old video back in the day where you're trying to sneak into a skate park dressed as someone else because I guess you've been banned from the park. Mm. Why were you Why were you banned from the park? And like, what was the whole story behind all that? 
so that's funny because going back to uh, skating park there was this one park we used to we used to frequent but the reason i got banned from the park is is, is hilarious is because i literally did every like every trick i did was like against the rules like i like <laughs> i like 180 like outside of the park oh my god or something mm -hmm. i don't know i went like you know off of a, a quarter pipe or something over a railing through a garage outside yeah. and they were like you can't do that because now you're outside and like you're not covered like with our insurance mm -hmm. so it's just like everything i did in this place i got in trouble for damn <laughs> that was just the one trick i remember like specifically and the the owner was a he was a that dude was a dick <laughs> yeah and uh i never heard anyone doing tricks against the rules <laughs> no, it, was, it was funny like I mean, even we at the time were like what are you kidding me yeah. like the thing about a skate park there's like there's no rules in our fucking sport that's why we do this shit mm -hmm. not like don't fucking open up a place and set up rules to do right tell us where we can skate Especially what we can grind a, on like a, what the fuck at a skate park yeah at a places. skate park yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's well, yeah, retarded uh, event, i guess we were filming that section and i don't even remember what led us to do it but I was like, I had this funny wig or something. <laughs> yeah. my, like my mom had this funny wig, and I was like, I'll just go in wearing a disguise. <laughs> that was in a I video? I don't like, remember that. Yeah, I don't even remember what video it was in. Did it work? It worked for like a little bit, <laughs> and then like somebody like ratted me out. They were like, that's a like good. And then I got into like a big argument with the owners. And yeah. it, it, the whole thing's like pure comedy. Yeah, yeah. It's so funny. Yeah, I don't remember that. But it was elements like stupid. Oh, like, elements too. It was like <laughs> it was <laughs> real like young. <laughs> yeah, punk well, you shit. were young, man. Yeah, it was like it's, super it's young, young punk, punk shit. shit. Yeah, yeah, totally, totally. I mean, it but was, yeah, I didn't mean to bring that up and throw you under the bus for that. But it's, uh, <laughs> <laughs> but it's, uh, it was a thing I was actually curious about. It was funny. Yeah, <laughs> that is definitely funny. still funny if you watch yeah. that because like the dude's like his wife. Nah, he's a bitch like, yeah. They're like, both. I gotta rewatch that again. I've seen that forever. He's like yelling at me because I'm cursing, but then he's cursing at me. Yeah. And I'm like, dude, what do you what do you mean? You yeah, just, you're cursing yeah, at me. Like, yeah. Yeah. So it was just it was just funny. Yeah, you were just some like, yeah, <laughs> some upset. Kevin guy. Dallas said, "Dude, where's my car?" Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what did he have? He had like a. It was like a like a chevy it was like an impala or something i don't remember what he had it was like a big chunky like a buick yeah. or something that's sick <laughs> we um, got it back to him now in one piece <laughs> in one piece, in one piece? Yeah, okay, no good. scratches <laughs> it was all good and it's funny too because i had no idea this is before like you know i didn't have ways yeah you just got lost pretty much. <laughs> i had no idea where i was like in atlanta oh what about the deal? Did you? Because I remember you were trying to do something with Jimmy Shooter for a while called the Deal Video Magazine. Oh yeah, and so uh, the, the deal was actually originally something. Uh, two buddies of ours, uh, Danny DiDonato and Tom DeStefano, had sort of created years and years before. Two of our buddies from West Philly that we used to skate with growing up, and then I guess at, at one point it was something I w I tried to put together. And I was trying to focus on a couple of young guys, specifically my buddy. I was going to do a like a profile on my buddy Malik. If you guys remember Malik Kamara. Yeah, Malik, yeah, of course. And he was really killing it at the time. Uh, and I, Julio came out to visit. Uh, it, it was... Oh, I remember. There was like a little editor or something Yeah, it had like, like a little Julio a little edit. Richard, Richard, Skated Temple or yeah, something. Yeah, Richard, Richard came out. out here. So, I mean, I was still... You know, hanging with all these guys, and I, you know, I I don't remember really why it didn't come to fruition. Mm -hmm. I think it just kind of died out. It just it just kind of got left on the yeah. on the table. Unfortunately, that was sick though, because I remember you guys were getting doing. There was I, footage somewhere. I, 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 Somewhat, I think Majette put something together and put oh, it is out that what online. Because I've seen the footage. I remember I, John skating. That well, time. I did all mm -hmm. those edits. I actually so did you put them out? Edited everything? No, I think somehow. I might have given it to Majet. I don't remember. But mm -hmm. yeah, there's like a small version of it, I think, is floating around online. Yeah, I feel like I've seen that before. And I remember that. Opinions. Yeah. Oh, it's, really <laughs> <laughs> it's like the wizard over yeah, there. Yeah, the behind wizard. The the all knowing, man. He knows. <laughs> <laughs> you well, gotta get like a live camera on him and just have like his face pop up here. We'll well, dude, we're gonna, we're gonna actually do something pretty uh, a little different before we continue on. We, we, yeah. all, we wanted to watch a couple of your sections. With no, you, no. If you don't mind, is that is that okay? Well, okay. <laughs> I've seen them all. So you've seen them all. <laughs> Are you familiar with them? But I yeah. actually didn't have a lot of sections. 
No, we I got mean, a couple of it, it, was, it was actually a challenge to find stuff on YouTube because like, uh, yeah. yeah, a lot of the stuff is, uh, you know, older. There's a lot of single clips out here in that montage parts. And but we did find some sections. We, we got, got like Stan Fast from the Senate, Senate video. Ah, it's old. So, yeah, it is old. You don't need to have a lot of uh, sex to change the game. <laughs> the there we go. The wizard, <laughs> the wizard speaks <laughs> behind the curtain. This is fucking funny. The wizard so, speaks. Okay, so this so part is... We'll watch it. This is Stan Fast. Stan Fast. The Senate. So, this he, is what, 99? 2000? I think it's 99, yeah. 99. Colin, you know. <laughs> yeah, Colin, you weigh in on this? So this is 20 years ago. Pre-2000. Pre-2000, okay. So it's it's pre -2000. Well, Damn, it's well, 20 years ago. Well, it's 20 well, years ago. Billy just really just punched me in the gut right there. <laughs> Damn. Well, I remember this too. That was around. Actually, this, Colin, this is one section that I actually filmed, I think. Well, no, this is Cali. Oh, my God. So look at the chin strap. <laughs> yeah. Oh switch my god! Too, yeah, that was switch, right? The intro to the house. That's that switch look. Look at that! Switch I was an ugly kid. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't remember like no. when in Cali. Like, hey, did you fly out specifically to film this part? I think so. Yeah. So oh. how, how long did you stay out there? I don't know. It was like a week. So this is all all some Philly This is me and Lux. Um, that was a great rail right there. You used to that fuck that rail up. Still there. It is, yeah. They, and they like Ooh. finally. That rail. In 99. That yeah. And now look it up. Whoop, whoop, Ooh, whoop. That <laughs> nah, some of that. The X. No one really does that. That was disgusting. Yeah. Oh, there you go. Oh, yeah, look at that. Baby I, I was there this day. That was like a competition or something was going on. It was right just there. a big session yeah. after There's C Port Ness, you know? That was Switch. That's the same rail as the intro, right? And it's yeah, just the other way. Yeah. Oh, that one was Switch. That okay. The left foot was Switch. Yeah, I don't know. I. Like I said, I always felt a little weird about, like, uh, you know, I don't think very rarely was any of what I consider to be, I guess, my best stuff was documented. Yeah, was because I hated this sort of whole element of, like, let's go film. Yeah, yeah. You know different I mean? mentality. It was a whole different mentality yeah. than just, like, dude. This, I always thought this was crazy. I don't know. Like, this. I don't that know, that fucking nuts. rail, the way it yeah. sticks out like that, I don't know. Now, this was this was some of the craziest shit I ever did. Right? No, not, not that, this. Oh, this. Five. There's, oh, I only did this once. Dude, you I had a Nautica shirt the, on, too. I did. <laughs> <laughs> this is when I used to rock. That was sick. That five was sick. You just made it, too. I just did it one time. Just Bro, you it, just... That was, that was the only time I ever tried it. Yeah. That was down in, um, and that was like, Maryland or something. That, I know what you mean though about the mentality like you going out there see like most of this stuff when it was back in our area or like that 540 that was just there that was like us just sessioning and I think somebody had a camera we didn't go out with the intentions of like filming because it really was a whole it was a whole different thing it always kind of turned me off yeah it's like, it like same it's like here perform see, same same it's like, yeah what the fuck like mm -hmm. that's how I, a that, show dog that's yeah. how it kind of was though with <laughs> yeah. the, if you get flown out places you feel obligated to do that shit well, yeah that's why i never like competitions too same thing like they fly you out like a, a sponsor flies you out there then you're obligated to compete whether you want to compete or not like it's just yeah, yeah, I just it it's was totally different. Like invested in you to do something, you know. Yeah. Well, it's like going back to what you were saying about sort of the park and uh, being like restricted. Yeah. And you like, well, the whole reason we do what we do, yeah, is to do whatever the fuck no we rules. want. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I guess it's sort of that same. It is element. It is. Yeah. You know, of like, again, like here, freedom. Perform. Yeah, freedom. It's like no, 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 yeah. bro. I don't want to be told what to do. Yeah, yeah. I want to just do what. Just I'm let doing. me do and me. If you, if you catch, catch it, yeah, it, yeah. Fucking good for you. you know? Good for you. Yeah. Good for you. <laughs> well, that's oh, sick. Should we do one more? Yeah, one more. Okay, part. we got one more. Part so we're gonna do the USD section. Coup d'état. This is a, a, a quickie. Yeah, this is a small one. This is uh. But there's a couple good. It's a good tricks in this one. You no, know how like, it is too. Always, uh, you were always critical of your own stuff. Yeah. Like it's funny because I look back at my stuff and I'm like, that fucking that is ugly. <laughs> you know, yeah. people are like, oh, that's sick. Yeah. I'm like, I didn't really think that was that <laughs> sick. They're like, yeah, really? Yeah. Like yeah. some of this stuff that's in these sections, I'm looking at it and I'm like picking it apart. Yeah. That's good though. Even that's still, what, that's what we were just talking about too. With we just watched a video of ourselves. And yeah. It's, like it's good to be able to look back on that because it knows it shows improvement. In yourself and that's as an artist that's a good thing to look back and see that you come from a, like a different place i mean I, i'm the type of person that i'm very uh 
I guess, self-critical in everything I do. Mm -hmm. I'm always beating myself up. So obviously skating was no different. Yeah. But like, you know, that one section that we just watched, I forget the one trick on, like, I like do whatever that was, the top switch sole to like true top alley sole. But like my my foot, like my heel like pops up the tiniest bit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm like, no. No, 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 no. <laughs> that, should, that like, shouldn't even have been in the video. Certain I things like I that make tricks cool. They'll give that character, though. But, and look, these guys will attest to it. That's why they're as nuts about this stuff now, because we would constantly yeah. beat it into totally. their heads. Totally. Would you, like, make fun of them for doing shit, like, wrong uh, or whatever? Yeah. We used to we used to just crush them constantly. Dude, Philly was like, tough, man. I remember, I remember coming here, like, my first time here. I was, like, 14 or 15, and I was skating. It was, like, me and Mike Johnson and uh, <laughs> Carly and a couple of the people and we were skating uh, down at Penn and I just like skating this ledge and I just did like a negative mistrial and then uh, Shooter was like no negatives allowed in Philly. <laughs> <laughs> and, I, and then Mike was like oh, it's too funny yeah. <laughs> no, I was I like damn this is, it's a rough crowd man. <laughs> yeah it was, it is true. was that true? No, guys had a code, code, really? yeah, it was. I guess it was I mean we were not big on the whole uh, the whole <laughs> negative thing no <laughs> I guess anything. But you also that, skated Thrones too. Those are like impossible and negative ones. Anything that looked, I guess, unnatural in a way. <laughs> yeah, like, I, feel I know like what you mean. That was always like you look like you were deformed or not you. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> personally, <laughs> we know you're deformed. There, yeah, that's my own thing. Shit yeah. out of your body. But, know <laughs> you know, anything that you were just kind of like tweaked in like a weird way. I guess. Mm -hmm. I guess that was another one of those things for us that like that nah, dude just yeah. doesn't look it doesn't look right yeah like, it I like look that smooth so you know so, so, so but obviously dudes can, I don't mean to cut you off but obviously no, dudes sorry. can definitely yeah. lace those tricks now and make it look mm -hmm. smooth mm -hmm. uh, but at the time I guess we were just very critical of it it was hard to make negatives look good for a while I don't and know you what. could really like only do them I think you skated oxygens right well not that uh, yeah that I skated was, oxygens yeah at that time, I mean, at that what, time, or, what we, I think it was. I just had the like one of the first Solomon boots, like the blue ones. They had the bigger uh, in insole. Solomon's yeah. were like one of the first that like an actually like big you negative. Saying, like you Thrones, were never doing that in like a majestic. No, before, no, yeah, no, totally. Yeah. It was like no, that. It was tiny. Yeah. Yeah. They weren't meant for that. Shit. <laughs> Unless you put your CDS Detroit sole plates on the inside, <laughs> and that was not a good look. <laughs> yeah, no, not even, <laughs> you didn't want to be that guy at the skate park. <laughs> you didn't want to be that guy coming in the Philly having you fucking no negatives. Take your some fucking sole plates off. Get out of here. Some dudes do it though, and I guess it would become more of just like a Royale or like a backslide. They would yeah. kind of put everything on the on like that Royale foot. Yeah, and, and the other, I think maybe like uh, I'm trying to think of a few people that I don't know why because I don't think he ever did it, but it makes me think of like Star. John Star. Star ever do one like he did a smooth. I think, somebody did like I, I a think real he, smooth he, one. Like I think he's got like some that. smooth ones. Yeah, that, I think I know what you're talking about on that block on that totally on that block off. thing. I think I know what you're with saying. the K twos, K two days. Chris Lux wow. VG seven laced a nice one. Oh, there we go. <laughs> there no, we go. no. I don't Do, think Chris keep it coming, CK. Anything. We gotta, we gotta, <laughs> come, <laughs> we gotta pull up a C for CK. It's so funny. Like no, red, no, it's like funnier. Red, uh, it's funnier uh, this way because you just no, hear his voice in the background. It's yeah. funnier this way. <laughs> He's talking about our buddy Chris Lux from Jenkintown. He was like this lanky kid, no, great dude, you know. But he had like bright red oxygens, mm -hmm. and no, I don't think I would classify that as uh, a negative mistrial that looked good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Colin. It's <laughs> Sorry, you know, Chris. You, you, I, I, I doubt Chris I like is listening. Chris. That's why you, you, you're, not, you're, not, you're not the only one because, uh, you know, Sagona was also this way. And he's, he used to talk about, he's like, you'll never uh, catch me doing a sweat stance ever. A sweat stance? He, yeah, because he's like, it's the most unflattering thing. Uh, uh, he's uh, like, you're just putting like... You're, there's that 10% of people who make sweat stances look phenomenal. No, no, no. Yeah, yeah. yeah I, well, no, I disagree. I, I, yeah, yeah. This was like an argument of things he used to talk about, but he was yeah. like... He was this way too, very particular. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's funny, like that was always the trick. I wish I could. First off, it was a very sweat stance was a scary trick. Hell yeah, yeah. On, like, Still, on, like, yeah, yeah on like a ledge or anything, because it's like you fully commit mm -hmm. and you miss that sole foot. You're done. You get wrecked. You finish. Yeah. But I always liked. I mean, look, obviously, so many tricks, but like Julio sweat stances mm -hmm. were just so smooth and so totally. perfect. Mm -hmm. But I and I like talking about seeing yourself. Dustin Latimer had a really good one. Oh yeah, Latimer. Yeah, Jaggers. Yeah, yeah. Jaggers. Yeah. Jaggers. Mm -hmm. But you know, I remember like I would always want to do it and I would like practice them and I'd feel like they'd feel great in your head yeah. and then you'd see a video and you'd be like, What oh, the fuck? Yeah. <laughs> That's what it looks like. I'd be no. like, Ooh. Never do it again. 
terrible. Uh, so yeah. I really I don't think there's too many sweat stances of me <laughs> documented or uh, video. No, I, I hear that. What like, about Tom Mistrials, no? Top mistrials? Yeah. Because it's like, it's like, it's like, a, honest, it's, it's like a better looking know, sweat stance. I don't stance. know if I ever did one in my life. <laughs> <laughs> Very rarely have like, a top mistrial. No. <laughs> I honestly don't know. I feel like I you weren't big one. on Royales either. I, I think it was because I didn't think I was good at Royales. Hmm. I did them. They're just rare. They were rare. So this thing is the insecurity Project about. Mayhem. Outspin Swift Royale on your side. There you go, the wizard. Console. The wiz, no, bro. I, yeah, I did do some. <laughs> bro, you had good Royales. Don't play. I. <laughs> I did. I know. I used to do them. I used to do them. No, he's right. I yeah. Had to, I had to switch. Yeah, what I did the Cab 270 Switch Royale to drop Switch Out. You saw 540 out. Is that what you're talking about on Einstein? Yeah, Einstein, man. Yeah. That was your Royale. You own that to this day. Einstein, huh? And look, look, I hit the, like I said, in Paris, I hit the back. To jumped over the wall to back yeah, right okay, yeah. Oh, that's right. I can't say, you know, it, if you're saying, like, I know some dudes, that was, like, their go-to safety, yeah. I guess, totally. rail trick. Mm -hmm. Like, they jump right. I think, I guess, because, you know, we learned how to soul grind first. Yeah. And Royale didn't yeah. come till much later. later like, yeah. when we first saw Royale in VG3, we were mm -hmm. like, what the fuck? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like, how do you do that? Yeah. And I guess a soul grind was much more... Sort Solid. of my yeah. comfortable go to yeah. like rail totally. setup. Mm -hmm. Um You weren't gonna go soul bursty ledge though. <laughs> I tried to true top porn star that day. Yeah, did you? Did. Yeah, during the competition. There were soul tricks. And I almost hit it too. Yeah. What? Yeah, I tried to true top porn and yeah, I would just look at the NYC video. Really? It like slipped so, yeah. out like three quarters of the way down. Damn, that would have been <laughs> so fucking epic to true top on that shit. If you'd have done that, you could, you would have had to have the win. You had to I could have hit it. At the top In your so face, Shima. In your face. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. At the altar top, so I it. Yeah, I just like, you Did know. He? Yeah, he, la he laced it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh. Because he was just like, boom, round yeah. Top, little, it's, yeah. You know how it feels in New York, man. Yeah. The yeah, next time you come up, you got He's gotta, doing all the photography. I see yeah. Yeah. photography and stuff yeah. on mm -hmm. social media. I'm going to jump well, into this part real quick. I almost yeah. forgot that it was here. Elements 2 was good. Well, it wasn't like a full section. That's why we didn't rip it. Look how old this is. Like, just this alone, like that. This one color first came oh, out. Oh, God, look at this. Look at this outfit. <laughs> and look, that's in Cali, too. It's like, yeah, the, you're, the most, got the you're the most Philly looking guy, <laughs> and like the most California looking guy. Right, this is ridiculous. I got the Three tops of yeah. so. I remember actually seeing this before it came out. Like, in so wait, what year is this? True top. That's crazy. What year is this, Colin? True top porn. 99. <laughs> yeah. This same is, same this, era. This is disgusting. There's, there's the juice right there. Oh. I saw the juice on the, on the, on the <laughs> that tumor. That was ugly. <laughs> nice little. Yeah, no. Back torque. Nice line through the building. Oh, you got to clip well, in between. Well, it, it cuts in between. Yep. It cuts the in The line's between. still going. And you can't, uh, sometimes you can't see what this is. I guess you can see it here. Yeah. That was like into a bank. Yeah. That was like this really. Oh, cool. I never knew that. It was into a rail. bank. It was like over rail. Now, I got a funny story about this. I don't know if we're this allowed one? to talk about this. Oh, well, you, yeah, you can talk about it. So, I was on acid the night before. Oh, I heard about that. that yeah, the legend. What, really, the true top soul? Both that true top soul and, and the, the true, true top, top porn. Yeah, um, that was across from where you guys lived in West Philly, right? When they had, like, Jimmy and them. There you go. This was, you need yeah. the sound on that. Yeah, I know. That, that, yeah, I was, you, you need the sound on that one because it's actually pretty awesome. That is the good one. With the I had been trying that, like, over and over. And don't ask me why. Oh. Yeah, that was huge back then. Wow. Everybody, yeah, like, goes that's nuts. That's so sick. That's Louie. Uh, everybody, I don't know. Everybody was everybody. out there. That was the other um, shit about sessions back then, with those big crowds of people at spots. And <laughs> but go on with your story. Oh, yeah, you talking oh, about the oh. true top soul and the true top porn. Well, this is when Lux and Jimmy and them were all in college. You had the house. They were all right living there. in that house yeah. go on to, uh, Winter Street. Mm -hmm. And I mean, dude, I don't even know. It must have been like a Friday night out at some college party. We're we're partying all night, drinking at like two through two o'clock in the morning. Mm -hmm. We decide to like eat acid. <laughs> Me and like I don't know if you know who who I did it with, a couple of buddies. So we're obviously like up all night. Yeah. You know, tripping. Just doing things. You know? <laughs> and uh I think no, that was another time. That was another time I ate acid. <laughs> yeah, we'll get into that later. Yeah, I don't know. Box Magazine was there, like, doing a, a film. And I, that time, 
that's a funny story too real quick because I tried this gap and it was it was like off this thing over landing down a set of steps and you had to kind of land and then there was like a curb so you had to do this huge gap and then land and kind of get out of the way real quick mm. and I jumped this whole gap and I'm on acid. <laughs> you know, yeah. I'm not like tripping balls at yeah, this point. This just, is more towards the tail end, yeah. so I'm still a little, yeah, just a little fizzly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I fucking went for this gap, and as soon as I hit the pavement, my fucking shit just locked up, and I flipped over, and I smashed my back on this curb. Oh. And you know, acid is supposed to all be in your back yeah, and yeah. your spine, and I was like fucking freaked out. Like, first off, I was crippled. I destroyed myself from this fall. Yeah. And then, like, I'm still, like, buzzing a little bit later that night. And I'm yeah. like, dude, I'm going to fucking be tripping for the rest of my life, dude. Yeah. Oh, like, this is, like, this is really bad. Like, <laughs> you know, because I thought I did something to my back. And yeah. And, like, till that night when I went to bed. I mean, this is, like, 24 hours. Yeah. Was yeah. Going on now I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> like, uh, this is crazy. Yeah. Thank God I woke up. I was all right. But <laughs> that, that, that time there. <laughs> Chip ended. <laughs> Here's the thing where I'll go with this, and you know, some people might get it, some people are gonna laugh. I, I know, you know, obviously, anybody here is that that skates is gonna understand it to agree. You know, rollerblading to me was always, it was like, I don't know, man, maybe ninety percent mental, in terms of the sense where obviously you had to have the physical ability to be able to do it, mm. but your mind had to be exactly in that right place to like know where to position yourself or whatever that you know whatever the situation was and that morning dude i was just seeing everything clear <laughs> yeah it was like, like the acid yeah. fucking had yeah. me right in the zone <clears throat> and cleared the cobwebs out dude uh, and that rail like i don't think we had ever skated that rail ever because it was so goofy no, you it's had, like tall and there's a little well, drop you on had, the side you had yeah. to like run from the grass yeah. and i was just like Let's go fuck it. We, or whatever. We're like, let's go skate that rail. Mm -hmm. And I laced those two tricks. Yeah, was that a picture in a magazine too? That true top floor? I think it was. Yeah. Right? yeah. Daily Bread or something. Yeah. I remember that. Something. I, I remember going to that rail too and being like, this is the rail because it was like this high. It was so <laughs> yeah. high. No, it wasn't that high, but it was like set out. You had to, you know, it, it was definitely like, it was definitely like weird and awkward. And you had like two seconds to set up from you ran in from the, the grass, grass yeah. and you're literally like on the on the pavement for yeah. two seconds and then you got to jump mm -hmm. i don't think we ever skated that rail ever again either to be honest with you damn we skated it that morning i hit those couple tricks and I don't, think, I don't think i ever skated that rail ever again damn it was like what do, what do i need to do on it yeah. <laughs> there, there, there was so much in skating distance from that house too that was a sick little well that was like two area. seconds from penn and yep. and drexel, right there, drexel. And, yeah, yeah all this all the colleges we used to skate yep Ben Magazine, I said, shout out Winter Street House. Hmm. Oh, Winter Street House, man. <clears throat> That's a yeah, that was a lot of epic stories from that house for sure, man. Yeah. Far beyond skating. That's what You need a whole nother podcast. You need a whole nother podcast, whole podcast to take into that. Did that motivate you to do more acid and skating <laughs> together? No, definitely not. <laughs> no I mean, way. that whole thing was a, a short-lived thing. I mean, I guess from when I was... I don't, you know, I'm not sitting here promoting acid in any way, shape, or form, yeah. but uh, I don't know. In one end, one element, it helps I, some people. I'll say this <laughs> if you have a strong enough mind, I definitely promote every, if you have a strong enough mind to try it. <laughs> yeah, in your I life. recommend yeah. that too. Yeah, yeah, like if you can handle it. Now, the funny thing for me was. But it doesn't, you know what a famous thing that uh, I forgot, uh, T Terrence McKenna said, uh, it doesn't work on stupid people. Well, you can, <laughs> so you like gotta, I said, if you can't handle your shit, you know. Yeah. But the funny thing for me was uh, mushrooms, for some reason, always fucked me up. Hmm. Like, I could eat gel tabs of acid. Mm -hmm. Be fine. But then I'd eat, like, a little bit of mushrooms. I'd be fucking <laughs> bugged. I'd be like, dude, everybody knows. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's, like, way more paranoia. Oh, yeah. it was crazy. Yeah. So, <laughs> But anyway, that whole thing was very short lived. Like yeah. maybe when I was like eighteen years old, a couple times. Yeah, I yeah. had. Yeah, yeah, I mean, it is what it is. You know, <laughs> it wasn't. I. Yeah. I mean, college and, and, and that far whole, between. Yeah, and that whole like just era, the skating and there's you know partying aspect. You know, tried a few things. You know what I mean, I get it, man. <laughs>
I've not, but I understand what you're talking no, about. No, you never did ever. No, no, I've never done anything. No, I'm just kidding. No, I'm kidding. no I'm saying, but you've done acid. Yes, I have. Yeah. Yeah. I figured you would. For sure. <laughs> crazy, crazy hippie burnout. You know, yeah. Yeah. It's, I, yeah, I think it's good for someone to try at least once. Speaking of uh, intoxicants, can I get a, a refill uh, one yeah. last time? I mean, SK. <laughs> All right. We got to keep it going. What are you up to these days? What's going on with and you And we should now? open it up for questions. Yeah, yeah. Question. Uh, what's going on? I don't know what's going on. Uh, I think he's going upstairs to, oh, okay. to get a I'm refill. Like, I'm liking, the, I'm enjoying this service. Yeah, right. <laughs> I don't usually get this kind of service when I Dude, we'll podcast it all the time. We never had a wine on the show before. So, so you're into now. What's, you, you're doing art. You, what's, what's happening now? Oh. My day job right now is I, uh, like I was telling you guys, I, I manage new construction uh, development, some rental properties. I work with my family. Uh, I also have an art thing going on on the side where uh, I just have a small gallery program that I started up years ago. I was, I was, I was in the art, art business for the better part of, you know, 10, 15 years. And just about, I guess, last year, I sort of convive the studio space over in like Kensington fish Town, not too far from here at mm-hmm. all and I'd always wanted to kind of create like a little exhibition space there and I just basically remodeled it's this huge warehouse basement and I sort of portioned off a little area cleaned it up built walls repainted the whole thing just made it this sort of pristine gallery space and I used to represent a bunch of artists but now I only work specifically with this one guy his name's uh Tom Brady, no relationship to the quarterback. So. Yeah. Wow, look at this. Look at this, man. <laughs> a new bottle, too. What do we look get? At this. What do we have? Should I blind taste this or what? <laughs> blind taste it. You got to swirl that. For those of you who don't know. I can't. He fills it too much. For those, you, for those of you who don't know, Jeff studies wine. And oh, yeah. Stuff. Yeah, I heard you talking about that before. <laughs> swirl it. It's what do we got there? As good as the last one. I hope it is, though. Is that. Is that now, now you put me on the spot. What is it? What is it? Now? What is it now? Studying wine. I went to the Asian spot. I got <laughs> Fum Blanc, Napa Valley. Well, now you told me. <laughs> it's a Napa wine. Could you taste that it's a Napa wine? Fumé Blanc doesn't really mean anything. It's a Sauvignon Blanc. Fumé Blanc is actually a term that was created in California just to make it kind of sound cool. Mm-hmm. There's no such thing like as that in. Uh, France or anything. You sound like the wine wizard, like how Collins the, the skate wizard. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm, I'm learning. I just started taking uh, these. I've always been interested in wine. I do think it's a, it's just a really, really cool thing. Obviously, I mean, I used to drink a lot of it. Mm-hmm. Are you trying but, to be like a Somme or something like that? Well, we were talking about that, so uh, not to get too into the whole thing, but there's two course tracks, and the one I'm taking is not uh, the service-oriented course track, so in order to become a sommelier you have to do that and that involves obviously service which i want nothing to be a part of uh i used to work in restaurants uh, mm-hmm. and i promised myself i would never never ever again. Do that <laughs> again so this way it's just more about learning about the wines learning about uh, the process like we're talking about the viticulture the growing um the geography uh you know that you're really getting into it well, I mean, I at this point, I have to, like, because you have to understand, like, this course that I'm taking right now, I mean, it's it's pretty intense. Like, I have to study. I know that sounds Damn. a little corny, but, mm-hmm. you yeah. know, it's like, it's good when it's something that you enjoy, but you still have to push yourself. Like, yeah. I sat down this morning, and I was, like, tracing maps of, you know, wine regions in France. Damn. That's crazy. Which is a little... Nuts, I guess, <laughs> no, but I mean, you think it makes sense it. because all that matters in the winemaking bit. I mean, the whole geography aspect of it is a huge uh, portion, but, you know, it's something I enjoy, but that was funny because I was just having a conversation with, you know, my neighbors the other day. It's like now that every time I'm having a glass of wine, I'm thinking about it so much. Like the other night, I was like, I just need a fucking beer. Yeah. Just, right? Like, yeah. I just need a beer. Just give me a beer. Uh, yeah. yeah. And that, well, I'm still a little bit snobbish with my beers. Yeah. Too, no, so. same, same. I've been, uh, I, I worked at a buddy's place right around the corner where he is. A, it's called Bottle Bar East. Shout out. <laughs> Shout out Bottle Bar East. Yeah. Me and my girl coming back to Philly next week for a, uh, for a little vacation. So we might, we might stop by. Yeah. It's definitely a spot you got to check out. They have like over 700 bottles of beer like take out beers they got like 15 taps Damn. everything and i worked there for a little bit so learned a ton about beer and you know you're never going to catch me drinking like 
uh, like Coors Light, Bud Bud Light. Light. <laughs> yeah, or Coors Light, like no thanks. Or, I don't, I or, don't or, or Labatt, or Labatt Blue. <laughs> yeah, or Labatt Blue. <laughs> <laughs> Colin, <laughs> I always knew you, Kel. So <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 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 that was like just us, uh, uh, you know. You go, you New York guys are used to yeah. that. It's just yeah, you, you know, know. <laughs> breaking yeah, fucking man. balls. Fuck calls, man. Yeah, yeah, I didn't really mean he was white trash. <laughs> yeah, no, I know, I know, I know, I know. I know. Calling him white trash. I know, trash. I know. Well, the you know the beer, you know. So it's we used blow. to drink all that. Like going, like you're talking about the Winter Street House. Yeah. And then uh, a really quick funny story that about Lux. Lux was the only dude who like tried to be part of a fraternity. Mm-hmm. And there was this fraternity that he was in, and every year they'd have this party, and there'd be all these leftover cases of beer. And we would go in every year and steal all these cases after the fact. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's, it's in one of the videos. I think it's in that section, Colin, that you were asking me about, you that like group that. section. You should look it up. Which, real which quick. one is this? Just look up a uh, like Philly Onyx uh, roller. Oh, that or one? Something. Yeah. Shut them down. Because as part of that section, as you sure you see all these cases that me and Luck stole, and he's like sitting on the couch like, drinking a beer. <laughs> we saw like fifteen cases of beer or something from this place. That's funny. I could see Lux being the one being in the frat though. Out of everyone, I couldn't see anyone else. There. I don't. I don't even know if he ever, like, fully made it into it. But I guess he did. <laughs> all that hazing shit. Yeah. Lux like getting hit with a paddle. Yeah. <laughs> what the, what the, what the Jackson and Lux fist fights. No, oh, I don't know. Those dudes used to do all kinds of. Good Should we watch this section? This this Onyx section. Yeah, it's a yeah, good it's... section. All right, we'll, we'll watch this one. Just it's got a for... lot of good, uh, a lot of lot of give, other people. Give me a minute it. or two to to download it. Yeah, it's got a lot of other good. Unreleased people. Onyx Philly section. Yeah, yeah. I think Kevin Jackson's Unreleased. got some good, uh, uh, little tricks in there. I'm trying to remember who else. Elias is in that section. I think. There's one really cool trick that I did in that section that I wish I'd only did it that once and I wish I would have gone back and got it like, I guess, filmed better, even though we were talking about all that yeah. stuff about not yeah, going yeah, to yeah, a yeah. spot to film it. Yeah. But you guys remember where I did that thing where I like jumped over the railing onto that little bank and 360 off that weird thing over at Penn? I don't even know if it's there anymore. You'll see it in the section. It was like the only time we'd ever did it, but it was, oh, yeah. it was, dude, it would talk about it again. Like it was a rail that was like chest really? high and I just jumped over the rail and then it was this weird bank and you only had like two seconds to, and it had a little kick at the end. So mm-hmm. if you missed it, you were like getting thrown. Yeah. Now you, you had some crazy ups, man. I remember like I was just talking to Sean about it before, but what's that spot? Crest? Cedar, Cedarbrook. Cedarbrook. Like, uh, like the last time I skated with you was at Cedarbrook. You know that spot? Cedarbrook. Flat handicap rails. Elementary school, kind of by Forest Row. Uh, all right, right. Anyway, it's like these rail stuff, and there's like this trash can like this high, and like you just oh, ignored oh, all I the remember, rails. I remember. And trash. you just started trying to 360, 360 over this trash, over the trash can. can. Yeah. Yeah. And it was just like this high, and I was like, "Damn, this guy." I think I hit white it. men can. I think I, <laughs> I, I think I made it over. Yeah, no, you did. It was. It was intense though, because that thing was like so high. I remember that was the day Malik was just getting into like his like food prepping. And did you remember that? That <laughs> yeah. he had like his food hot prepping. dogs. <laughs> Can, cans of raw tuna. Oh yeah. yeah, he used to travel like. All oh. the way. Yeah. So you know, Malik's actually one of the, the. He's probably one of the only dudes I consistently see because I work out at his gym. Yeah. He owns a gym now in Springfield, which I live two minutes away. Oh damn. And I've been training, you know, with him, you know, for the past. I don't know, five years. Damn. I train with he's him in, like every he's in, week. He's like in crazy shape. Well, Malik's like a nut. Like yeah. he's, he, the dude is, he's the definition of discipline, <laughs> consistency. Mm-hmm. I mean, uh, I train like, look, obviously you see me here. I'm, yeah. I, I smoke an occasional we're, cigarette, we're, we're loose. I drink yeah. wine, you know, whatever. But, you know, Malik's the type of dude, he's, and these guys know, you know, he's never dry, had a drop of alcohol in his entire life, you know, never smoked, always eats perfect. And again, I, I guess nowadays I'm closer with Malik than any of these guys are. Mm-hmm. Um, and he he's just the dude. Just a beast. He's an animal. Yeah. And don't ever get into a fight with him, I'll tell you that. Oh, but, I can tell. I've, yeah. I've sparred with him a couple times, you know, because I do a lot of like MMA tri- uh, fight training with him. Yeah. And, you know, last year we started getting into a little light There's sparring. sparring and, yeah. and dude, you just, <laughs> he's not the one. You to, just don't yeah. even have a chance. No, I can tell. <laughs> I can tell. I, I see him on his social media and I'm like, wow, Malik is... He's like a uh, gentle giant. Oh, well, look. He's, he's, like, he's, he's, he's like, definitely the one, like the epitome of that type of... Thing. Like, 
you're never going to see Malik like acting tall. Yeah, I can't or, picture him like that at all. But if a dude, but don't cross if him. a dude gets you know if a dude gets out of line with him, he's not afraid to just say, "Yo, bro, like, we just throw down right now." Yeah, you know, if there's an issue. Mm-hmm. I've Shout never out actually, Malik! Come I've, on. Yeah, I've, yeah. Yeah, we you know we were just talking. I told him I was on our way here. Dang, you gotta tell me what's up. All right, let's check this. It downloaded. Yeah. Uh, look, he said, it "Can't wait." He listens. He said, "Good shit." Can't wait to listen. That podcast is good. See, you guys, I, I, I listen to it all the time. <laughs> oh, look at this. Sick. 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 Shout sick out Malik, Malik Kamara. Kamara. Yeah, dog. Hell yeah. Uh, you gotta, can you turn the the yeah. sound on? Let's get some sound. See, here's oh, some see, of those clips. same tricks. Tur- can you bring it back? Because it's actually very well edited. <laughs> <laughs> this is Let's actually a cool little edit. For people that are obviously watching on the video, they can see. They can uh, see what's going on here. For this, people listening, this, this we was, apologize. You should watch yeah, the YouTube this, one. This was nonsense, but. Oh, I'm going to take a break for a second. Please go for it. So reused clips right here. <laughs> yeah, well, they were first used in this. Let's shoot. Oh, I got you. Yeah, because it wasn't in, in the video. Lux. That was real nice. KJ. Damn, it's that row. Yeah, that fence row. That's Ed Martinez. Does it? Oh. <laughs> That's me giving away on a shotgun <laughs> in some basement. Jason Diaz. Good buddy of ours. Used to skate from Binghamton. Used to always I remember the out. name. Jay was real smooth. That was nice. That was a nice I sweaty. Know, I don't that was even a nice know who one. that was. Front torque to sweaty. Who was that? I don't remember now. Jackson didn't do that? Ah, that might have been. Right? This is Shooter. This is that same. Oh, no. That was the thing I was just talking about. Oh, okay. So I know that spot. So yeah, you I've never, you, you I never seen it skated that way. You can't see what's going on yeah. there, but that was really hard that was the same spot that you back to work no no it, or, it's no a, it's different oh, it's a it looks the same and maybe it's on the other side of it you can't even see some of the stuff it's a really <laughs> it's a really bad uh bad quality for wherever <laughs> this came from obviously but shooter the fdr at it lock killing it right there yeah this is all this there you go Look, these are all the beers we stole. Uh, <laughs> there they are. Damn. There's a lot of beers. Oh, we were selling them. Oh, this. This is Lux Facebook. Whoa. It's funny, too, because all this stuff's gone. Like, a lot of these buildings are all gone. Yeah, yeah. it's changed completely. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Hey, he wrecked his face right there. <laughs> Those rails were the best. Those rails, huh? They look so scary. They have a drop on the outside, too. They were, they were so awesome. So a lot of my shit, obviously, every, I think every trick in this section was used. What was the other section we just watched? The USD one? I guess Could it was that? all used in, in that. Um, oh, this stuff was the worst. <laughs> <laughs> These roll-ins. <laughs> that was pretty sick when he did that. Yeah, it's fun. I was never into that. Though. Lux was killing the game right here. He was, oh. his style was killing it. Uh. You know that yeah, was this. this oh, uh. so well, that was like the first. That was like the first time we'd ever. I think I'd ever done that. I think style was. I mean, you know, that was always our most important thing, and and, and it's like going back to. That comes with skating properly, all right. Well, it's like going back. I forget who was that in Hoax Two. Um, I think it was Hoax Two. Where they're talking about style, and I think it's B. Harden, and he's like, "Look, you can do a trick that's like na- like nasty or whatever." He's like, "But it doesn't count, <laughs> you know." He's like, "Yeah, yeah, it's all about style." Yeah, I mean, you- I guess that just really stuck with us. Did you shit on people having bad style too back in the day? Did I do what? Shit on people for having bad style too back in the day? Oh yeah, I think we hated. I think <laughs> yeah, we hated like ninety yeah, percent of people <laughs> skating. Yeah, that's real. There you go, bull. Yeah. Oh, so good. What the? Oh, damn! That was the this throwback is, of the yeah, throwback. Is, Lux had the best fish brains. Damn. Ever. <laughs> <laughs> this is like some little funny shit. So, 
I mean, I understand why in hindsight Joe was like, what the <laughs> fuck is this section? But Yeah. But look, what year is this again? You got to look back. Like, yeah, right, yeah. You know, like, look, he just goes up, laces this true top alley soul. Like, Oof. I don't. There was some sick I mean, skating, like, skating in is, there. Real sick like, skating in like there. 2000, yeah. maybe, mm-hmm. I guess. Yeah. Yeah, it's got to be no, earlier. It's got to be. No, well, no, you're right. It's like, nine, it's like nine. No, Rain Fear Gone was too bad. <laughs> no, this well, look, was, I was, I was in, I was in college, I think then, or I was in high. It was my last year of high school, so it has to be '99 <clears throat> or 2000, because that's how I graduated high school in '99. It's crazy. But you, you're not that much younger than me. What are you like? 35. 35. Yeah. You? 38. 38. You're yeah, right in the same ballpark. Wow. Call me when you're 38. Yeah. <laughs> Bro. <Probably. laughs> Thanks for making Three me feel years? young. Yeah, how old are you? 31. Oh, yeah. well, I'll tell you, that's... Yeah. Listen, call bro. me when you're 35. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'll call you, when you're I'll call you when you're 38. <laughs> that was awesome. <laughs> We're going to open up for questions if anyone has any questions for Jeff. Um, shout him out right now. Yeah, Fumé Blanc. <laughs> more, more Le Blanc. I got you. I got you. <laughs> Well, you just get. To, thank you, sir. <laughs> My man, Billy. Let me know anytime you want to do a podcast. That Colin can serve me. <laughs> <laughs> My man, the OG, the, the wizard, the, the the fact, wizard. the fact yeah. wizard. Well, I, the, if legend serves correct. Uh, they played a game of VG trivia with Dave Payne and, and beat him. And they won. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, no, but that doesn't surprise me because, like, look, memory and look, we all know this. Everybody has their own yep. experiences that like impacted them and yeah. they remember yeah. specific things. Like, um, what the fuck was he just telling me a few minutes ago? He's like, Do you remember this time with the whole white trash thing? Right, right. <laughs> like, oh, I don't fucking remember. Yeah. For him, he was like probably like scarred because I called him white trash. <laughs> But I don't know. I was just breaking his fucking balls. That was like an average, uh, you know, whatever. Yeah, just, just a like random a conversation. Pa- passing comment, yeah. I think we lost audio for a second, but if anyone has any questions, shout them out for us while we have Jeff here. Oh, uh, did we lose audio for a second? I don't know. Someone, someone said lost audio, but then I said it's back. Oh, okay. I didn't do anything, did I? No. It's too much wine. Um, couldn't hand, oh. The stream couldn't handle all the wine. The stream couldn't handle <laughs> 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 too much block. wine. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll ask you, do, do you miss it ever? What, skating? Do you miss it? Do you, miss, do you miss the feeling of doing a, a nice, a nice topsail? I mean, look, you know, I, I've, I've gone out, I guess, a few times uh, over the past. I, I don't remember. I don't even remember when the last time that I actually skated was. I don't know uh, what year that was. We all went skating over at that, um, the little park, the little cement park. Pops, is that what yeah, saying? Pops, and so going back to the whole thing with Malik, like you know. I got real big into like lifting and training. Not like I'm some type of uh, Olympic no, I, athlete. I, I, I heard you a bit of a beast there for a second. Uh, I mean, I, I just got into lifting a lot and like exercising in that sense. And the the last time I think I tried, I think it was actually the last time I tried skating. Uh, again, just went for something stupid. Like went for like a top uh, top macchio and like one of those stupid little ledges that pops and. Top Machio. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> what? what no, did no, I no. say it wrong? No, no, no. <laughs> I'm like, what? Did I say it no, wrong? No, no, no. And I just like missed fish brain. Whole... Yeah, but well, a fish what brain. We used to always call it fish brain when you, you know, you extended your leg yeah. out and held it. So but it was, it it was a top rocket. Machio if it wasn't rocket. rocket. Implied rocket. Yeah, rocket. Yeah. I guess fish brain implied rocket. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I guess. Yeah. Sorry. Okay. Sorry. I'm <laughs> dating myself. I, guess. <laughs> I just had to clarify that before people went fucking crazy and started. But I missed the shit. thing completely and fucking mangled my hand, mm. like on the dumbest shit. Mm-hmm. Like I don't know. Like I missed the thing and like trapped my hand down in like the corner of the ledge and just mangled my hand and I couldn't grip and I couldn't mm-hmm. couldn't lift. So I was like. Dude, nope, fuck this. No more. <laughs> no more. No, yeah, I real. couldn't do anything no, for like two, real. three weeks. And, you know, again, like uh, going back to sort of wish it would have went differently. Like my whole uh, pro career didn't, you know. I'm going to ask that before too. Where did you want it to go that it didn't actually end up? Well, come on. The dream. 
Yeah, yeah exactly. What like, the I dream is different hello? for different people. Well, what is his, no, what is think, his version think, of the dream? No, but I think he, he understands what I mean in the sense of I would have loved to have really spent Just travel more, a few like, years yeah, of like traveling full time, getting paid. Mm. Saving I, money, maybe making or making bucks. money, yeah, making money because yeah. I, I I was never making good money from skating. Uh, uh-huh. uh, I, I mean, I barely made any money from skating, really. Uh-huh. But some of these guys that were doing it, like you were talking about, you know, guys that were traveling around the whole world, like you know, I would have loved to have seen the world on rollerblading's dime. Mm-hmm. I mean, I saw some of it, mm-hmm. and I'm fortunate for being able to do that. I mean, mm-hmm. I'm a lot more fortunate than a lot of people in that sense. Yeah. But I wish I would have been smarter to sort of take advantage of it more. Unfortunately for me, I was sort of caught up in college. Not, not that that's unfortunate, but I had to decide at some point, sort of going back to this element of getting hurt. Mm-hmm. For me, it became a point where I was trying to major in glass blowing, which is a unique sort of major. Uh, if anybody has any idea what I'm talking about, like Venetian yeah. glass blowing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So everything involves... I remember when you were doing that. Everything yeah. involves your hands, everything. So it's like at that point, I was like 23. I'm like, dude, I, I can't... Like, I'm not getting paid anymore. Everything's... The industry was kind of fizzling out. I was like, all right, dude, well, I'm either going to keep skating or I'm going to finish college. Yeah. And I was like, I guess skating's got to go. Yeah. So unfortunately, life kind of <laughs> not totally. It's got it's, in the it's, way it's, in that sense. It's real. It happens to a lot of people. Mm-hmm. It's you, real. You had a lot of interesting hobbies: the glass blowing. Well, that's yeah, art. That's, that's what I majored lifting. in. Mm-hmm. I majored in in uh, glass blowing. Did you do anything with that? Other than majoring in it, no, no nothing, not <laughs> much. No, it's it's a very obscure um, sort of medium, and it's tough to sort of keep that up. Because you have to either like rent time in a studio. If mm-hmm. you're going to have your own studio, it's very costly mm-hmm. to try to put something like that together. So yeah. I never pursued it. I, uh, by chance, wound up going in the direction of getting involved with galleries and sort of running art galleries mm-hmm. and representing artists. And that was only because I was trying to get my own artwork out. Mm-hmm. And nobody would show my artwork because my stuff was so weird. I did all this weird like crucifixion, like contemporary crucifixion paintings and incorporated like Christian iconography and like a weird contemporary sort of setting. And Philadelphia is a very conservative and predominantly Jewish in terms of the (laughs) art market. So that stuff obviously didn't go over too well. So finally I was like, you know what? I had a little storefront apartment in East Oak Lane and I, I turned it into an art gallery. And all my buddies all of a sudden were like, oh, let's do a show. Mm-hmm. And so it was sort of totally by chance that I got into the whole. You still painting and stuff? Or are you just running it? I don't do too much of my own work anymore. The only thing I do anyway is, is funny enough, I do some street art stuff, which maybe these guys have seen and they know sort of my art pseudonym. And I don't know if I can reveal it on this podcast. Okay. That's you, up to you. Some people might see my shit on the streets, only in Philly. Okay. Well, we'll, we'll, <laughs> we'll, we'll keep, keep that under wraps we'll keep then. That. But if, if um, you know, I'm sure some people who are, who are looking on, listening to this podcast who are like friends of, uh, who are like fans of your skating, they might want to own a Jeff, you know, Jeff Frederick piece in their house right yeah, up in maybe. the kitchen. You yeah, know, is there know. any place they can go they're, to to they're possibly for sale? buy one? Where, oh, where, see, where do they give. go? Give them like a secret link or something. Because <laughs> yeah, I'll give a link to the secret website. Yeah. I don't want to okay. reveal the Okay, fair enough. The well, name. <laughs> okay. We'll fair see. Enough. We'll see. We'll figure that out. Okay. We'll that out. Let's see if they want to buy it first. And then All right, we'll right. Message if they want to buy something, then maybe I'll tell them the website. <laughs> What's your Instagram? JSF Contemporary? Yeah, that's the gallery. That's Instagram, the gallery? Yeah. The Catatonic wants to know what artists or painters have been inspirational for you. Uh, as far as painting goes, uh, I was always really into um, Jean-Michel Basquiat, which I'm sure many people know who Basquiat There's is. There's a gallery in the city right now yeah, in New have, York. Yeah, they have six. a huge yeah. show. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's a Brandt Foundation. Yeah. Yeah. I almost popped in, but... I mean, he was, he was insane. He was... Uh, the guy was just a, a, a pioneer in the early 80s. Uh, just did stuff totally unlike anything that was at now if in in the art historical context if you see this guy's work anybody that knows sort of art history he obviously had influences there he it wasn't like he just 
you know, came out of absolutely nowhere with this style. There yeah. were guys earlier in the 19th century that sort yeah. of had... Like Colin was just saying earlier, there's, you know, nothing original, right? It's a, it's, what's, the, what's the quote? You want me to quote? It, it's uh, Nasir Jones. What do you, you say? Want me to say it again? Yeah. <laughs> no idea is original. There's nothing new under the sun. It's not what you do, but how it's done. There you go. Wow. There it is. What was that, Nas? Yeah, Nas. Album, this guy's dude. quoting Nas. <laughs> No, but uh, yeah. No, but he's right. I mean, to a degree, he's right. I mean, it's hard to say originality in any sense these days. I mean, uh, specifically in art, it's it's a tough thing. Mm-hmm. You, you know, everybody's done something. Yeah. You know, at some point, but uh, Basquiat was a big influence. I was very influenced by Warhol. I know they're two very gen- not to say generic artists, but I mean they are. Everybody knows Warhol. They're not obviously. obscure, yeah. Maybe some people don't know Basquiat, but mm-hmm. Basquiat was coming to height in the 80s, whereas Warhol was obviously big in the 60s and 70s, and then they kind of became friends in yeah. the 80s and did some York, stuff yeah, yeah. together, yeah. and then obviously Warhol died. Or excuse me, Basquiat. <coughs> Warhol died, then Basquiat died uh, shortly after. Uh, but... Other than that, uh, I don't know. Robert Rauschenberg, uh, I'm going to be rambling off names that maybe yeah. none of you guys know. You seem to know a couple. A couple, uh, <laughs> yeah. Um, but hopefully that answered the question. I would have yeah. to say that those, if you looked at my work, uh, Basquiat and Warhol are definitely probably the two biggest influences. So there you go. See, I don't even know any of this stuff, so I don't even know, like, I can't even comment on it. So. But then, like, you know, the obvious ones, like Picasso, yeah. uh, you know. If anybody has ever gone to the uh, Barnes Foundation, if you're in, I'll tell you what, if you, if you guys, while you're here, if you, if you enjoy art, you got to take her to the Barnes Foundation. All right. Because it. it's one of the most amazing collections of art on the whole entire planet. Nice. And you go to this place and, like, even if you don't appreciate art, there's no way you can walk out of this place without just being like, what the fuck? Sick. It's just insane. You've never seen so much incredible art in one place. Damn, I'm stoked now. There yeah. you go. I got yeah. something to do. Yeah, definitely to go check that out while you're here. If, obviously, you've never been there. So. Yeah, no. Barnes Foundation. The Barnes Foundation. It's on the parkway. All right. Babe, can you write that in the notes? <laughs> in the notes. <laughs> in the notes. Um, She's your planner. Yeah. I mean, I can't do it. My girl's my planner. <laughs> Ben Magazine, I just wanted to recognize that you were one of the best hype people at a sessions, at, at sessions, recognizing tricks and good, good movement that people were doing. Did they say I was high at hype, sessions? Hype, man. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, you, thanks, you Ben. The highest <laughs> I was the highest guy. <laughs> Gee, <laughs> Ben, thanks. Oh, hype, man. Yeah, yeah. We used to push each other, man. It was funny, too, because we used to do like uh, like straight like baseball player shit, too. Yeah. Like, and I know this is going to sound horrible on a podcast, but like smacking each other's asses and shit. <laughs> but like that type no, of like, I know what you mean. Like, let's get shit. it. Yeah, yeah. Like, come on, buddy. Let's, let's get it. hit that yeah. trick. You know? yeah, yeah. No, that's sick. Yeah. <laughs> that's good. Like, that's that motivation. That's some man that's shit. That's yeah, just it like, was that on, real. Like, it was yeah. that the other op- the yeah. opposite end of smacking <laughs> a guy's ass. The man kind. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it is, though. <laughs> That's too funny. Yeah. <laughs> Before we wrap it up, I just want to thank our sponsors one more time. Yeah. We have Tougher Wheels. We have a, a giveaway going on for the a set of wheels from them. Uh, backslide Contest on Instagram. Jump Street Podcast. Hashtag Tougher Wheels and follow both accounts. On Monday, April 29th, we'll pick a winner for the one that we like the most, pretty mm-hmm. much. Yep. Um, so Backslide for a set of these Tougher Wheels, high quality wheels out of the United States. And... Yeah, main thing too. Also, fifty percent of proceeds go towards back into skating too. Yep. So big thing, big part of the community to be able to support them. Also, I want to thank Turtle Pillow for being a sponsor as well. Um, high quality travel accessory brand. Uh, we're also doing a giveaway with them for neck pillows and compression socks. So stay tuned to our Instagram this week for details on that. Cool. Can, can I say something real quick? No, totally. Was, no, totally. It was funny because I was sitting in the background. You guys were starting out. Obviously, yeah. Listen. You gotta pay the bills, right? You gotta keep the ball rolling. <laughs> uh-huh. And I said, these guys got a fucking neck pillow sponsor. But then I watched the shit, and I'm like, yo, fuck, dog. I need one of those. Should have done, done the whole thing, right? Should have done the whole thing in neck pillows. No, dude. Yeah. I was just talking to Anthony about that. Like, when you're in a van for a long amount of time, and you have to sleep like this, oh yeah, when you're just on the road, out, and they haven't made like if you're taking a flight, whatever. Yeah, like, there's horrible little 
things they the don't they don't yeah, cut it anymore at this yeah. point in the game the neck you know my neck is not what it once was although they got it they uh, here's the only thing i'll say and and you know <laughs> i said it looks like a great product you might want to dress it up a little bit <laughs> <laughs> we got some uh, suggestions just a little constructive <laughs> criticism, criticism for neck pillow because it looks like uh like you Too just mechanical. got into an accident or something <laughs> <laughs> Well, honestly, Jeff, it's been sick having you on. I, oh, yeah. I, 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 I hope I didn't just no, totally no. <laughs> your sponsorship. <laughs> but um, before we let you off, I um, just want to say thank you. I appreciate Hell you yeah. having me. Yeah, yeah. I really, it's, it's been cool catching up, and uh, I hope we can do this again. Yeah, we can. yeah, I think a lot of people were hyped to have you come out since... I no mean, one's seen you the, for a while. I wanted to, to come, flip the question around on you guys for okay. a second because we never really got Shoot. into those. <laughs> How's rollerblading doing right now? How's rollerblading today? Because I'm a little bit out of the loop. Okay. Well, we'll I, can, I, I, I can speak <laughs> from... I just went to a competition with... Actually, me, my, me and my girlfriend were both there. Austin was there. I went to a competition in... Um, I can't really say Germany, but it was in Holland. Mm. And yeah, it was like couple thousand people i think europe it was, it's still it's mass yeah, yeah it's huge yeah and but like i didn't go to this last blade cup but apparently tons of people were there like it was like one of the biggest ones ever um apparently from what i hear through like like i said I'm a, i keep my skating to a small group now mm-hmm. but um what i hear like tensions between skateboarders and rollerbladers are like not what they once were mm-hmm. and i don't think anybody cares about this yeah exactly yeah, yeah, exactly, that's, exactly that's the thing well first and, off and, now and there's also scared. scooters now so, so there's <laughs> now they have somebody else to make there, fun there, of there's an extra that, thing yeah. to hate that's like you know in the, in the single digits as well so well i feel like now with skateboards like dude skateboards now are like 13 years old yeah like the all the pros are like Probably, young yeah. teenagers yeah. right yeah, it's like the the I mean, teenagers the with the sick guys parents. Are like really yeah. young dudes now, aren't they? I, mean, I don't I was know. Watching some shit last year, like the, I guess the X Games. X Games type skaters, I think, are always gonna. A couple of the dudes be. that are the top dudes. Yeah. I mean, these dudes are going crazy young. shit. Yeah, yeah but they're very young. Mm-hmm. Then you're always gonna have that like old head jerk off yeah. skateboard dude that never was good at skateboarding, but he's been doing it for <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's like, oh, fuck rollerblading, dude! I yeah. fucking hate you guys. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> He's like living in his van. Yeah. <laughs> no, totally, exactly. <laughs> but I mean, pros were little kids too. Blading pros are like everyone was like teenagers and shit at one point. Yeah, I mean, 16, no, well, yeah. but I, I'm just saying in terms of skateboarding, it seems like it's gotten a lot younger. Oh, like, like it's these, changed since these then. These dudes, like the top guys. Yeah. I mean, there's a couple mm-hmm. dudes that are older that are still in the in the scene, but I, it, to but not to talk about skateboarding, but going back to rollerblading again like it to me it seems like it's cool that it's it's become this sort of whole underground kind of culture that Mm -hmm. obviously it's completely out of the realm of anything mainstream yeah you know you go ask 10 people about you know aggressive skating they have no fucking clue what Mm -hmm. you're talking about totally Mm -hmm. unless they reduce it like there's always dudes that did it with a little bit when they were younger. They're like, oh, yeah, I yeah. remember that yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's oh Misty crazy. Flip. Yeah, yeah. yeah. crazy. But well, I hope uh, that's a great Skating's thing. Skating's back on the come up, though. It's a great in thing general. what you guys are doing. I think this is awesome. Thank you. Thank um, you. Appreciate that. And uh, look, man, you're a little younger, we talked about. But, you know, Bill. <laughs> Bill's not too far behind me, and he's been doing this year. Look, I'm amazed that you're even still able to walk. Yeah, I cry about my injuries. Then I'm like, this yeah. dude's a freaking nature. He's fucking got ran over by cars, <laughs> broke his fucking leg, yeah. and he just yeah. keeps coming back. I'm just waiting for the day. I'm just waiting hand. for the day that it just stops working. But uh, it's yeah. Yeah. Look, I'm even looking at you now. You got stitches in your fucking hand. I'm like, this yeah. fucking guy. It's, it's, always, it's always something. It's always something. Always. Damn, but, Jeff. Well, thanks dude, so much Jeff, for coming out. It was a again. pleasure. It was really awesome having you on. Hey, we definitely hope to not only do this again, but hope to like actually like you know stay in touch and hopefully hang out again who knows maybe we'll have a session that'd be cool damn have a session I'm maybe gonna, tonight i'm gonna have to rest up damn i got that cbd oil coming well there you in. go I'm you're in shape too that. you see malik save that for we're going skating. it's not like you've been on the couch getting fat you're taking care of yourself we're going skating tonight take some cbd should've, in the meantime oh, next, oh, next, next couple hours no, you're not supposed <laughs> to take it before <laughs> Wait, what size are you what size skates are you 
I still have a pair of skates somewhere. Do you? <laughs> yeah. It'd be great if we can get a trick I out of you tonight. What I had. Nah, you ain't getting a trick. <laughs> <laughs> about to finish this bottle of yeah. Fumé Blanc and go home. My girl's got dinner waiting. Yeah. Right, on the next visit. I'm we, about to start getting texts. Where are you? On the next visit, we'll start oh, yeah. planning something. We got to also get, we got to eat too and get Anthony. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right. Jeff. Jeff, thanks a lot. It was a pleasure. I gotta watch. I gotta watch. <laughs> yeah, I gotta watch. I I'm about to give the guy a firm oh, handshake. He's got fucking yeah, stitches I'm popping sorry. out. Yeah. What the hell did you do? Freaking, my dog got into a fight with a German Shepherd at the dog park, and I was prying my dog's mouth open, and the German Shepherd caught me. German Shepherd mix. This guy is accident prone. Yeah, it's, it's always something. You, you, you wear this? Uh, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, it's always yeah. something. It's always something. But thanks, everybody, for watching. Stay tuned. We're going to be back in a little bit. See you then. Peace. Peace. Jump Street. <laughs>